The game is a 2D platformer similar to Super Mario Bros. NES. Your main focus of the game is to get from start to finish. You're running through the levels while the clock is ticking. Once you reach the goal, you move on to the next level and progression. There are three zones in total, plus a boss fight. All you do is run from one level to the next level. Sonic 1 levels are very memorable. You have Green Hill Zone, Marble Zone, Spring Yard Zone, Labyrinth Zone, Starlight Zone, Scrap Brain Zone, all levels in total. Sonic has two abilities. He can pounce on enemies, roll into a ball like an armadillo to bash through enemies or weak walls. Those are his two abilities in Sonic 1. Sonic 1 introduces items. Let's roll down the list. The rings. These are Sonic's health bar monitor. If you collect 100 rings, you'll get an extra life. If Sonic is hit by an enemy, the rings will become scattered. Sonic is left vulnerable, so you have to collect one of the rings before they disappear. You got the blue shield that will protect you from spikes and robots. You have the extra life box that extended Sonic's lives. You got the running shoes that makes Sonic go faster for a short time. Another one is the invincibility sparks that makes Sonic invulnerable. It can destroy enemies, anything that gets in your way. The invincibility won't last long. The other ones are the continues. If Sonic gets a game over screen, you can use one of the continues with your extra life to reset your current level. The animals can be set free by destroying the robots. They will give you extra life points on the scoreboard, depending on how many animals that you rescue. The last collectibles are the Chaos Emeralds. These emeralds can be collected at the special stages. You must gather 50 rings in order to enter the special stages at the end of each zone. The Chaos Emeralds are hidden inside the special stages, so you have to find them. The more you collect them, the harder the bonus stages gets. There are six Chaos Emeralds in Sonic 1. You can only acquire the Chaos Emeralds in Act 1 and Act 2, not in Act 3 because of boss fights. The music in Sonic 1 is very good. It fits the environments of the levels. The more you progress through the level, the music changes. The music is very memorable. Sonic has one of the best music in the franchise. Here's a sample of Sonic 1 soundtrack.
the bosses are you fighting Dr. Robotnik in his ship. All you do is hit him a couple of times and you win. All the bosses are easy and simplistic. My issue with Sonic 1 is valid. Problem number one, I wish Sonic can do a spin dash in the game so I can roll up hills, but I can't. Sonic is lacking the spin dash ability. Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sega Genesis is a fun game. I love being able to run fast, perform tricks, destroy robots, saving the animals, collecting the Chaos Emeralds, beating up Dr. Robotnik. Sonic 1 gets a 7 out of 10. My reason for giving it a 7 out of 10 is because I like the memorable soundtrack. The game still holds up to today's standards. That's why I give it a 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. See you guys later in the next upload.